Thanks so much, Cathy, and it's um, great to be able to talk to you. So I had the great pleasure a few years ago of travelling to Ethiopia, to Addis Ababa and then up north to Bahia Dar, where I met this remarkable man, uh, Dr. Wendy McGegan Nbiali, one of only a handful of dermatologists in Ethiopia. He really is a remarkable guy, as you'll hear. And he told me a story about this boy, Adesu. So you can probably see that Adesu has a rash on his hands uh, and on his body. And that rash is scabies. Scabies is a skin infection caused by a tiny mite that burrows into the skin. Causes itch and scratch, makes it very hard to sleep and very hard to concentrate. It really is extremely miserable. But it also leads to bacterial skin infection because the burrows allow the bacteria to get into the skin, which leads to even more serious diseases like being admitted to hospital with sepsis, rheumatic heart disease and kidney disease. And it affects at least 200 million people at any one time. That's the facts about, the medical facts about scabies. But what Wendy McGegan told me was about the social impact. So back to our friend Adesu. So Adesu was in a family of five children, goat farmers, outside Bahia Dar, and he was the smartest of the five children. And so his family saved up money to send him to a local school, the only um, child that they could afford to send to school. And so he went to school, and while at school, unfortunately, because the school was overcrowded, he developed scabies on his hands so that he couldn't hold a pen and on his bottom so he couldn't sit down. And in fact, he had trouble attending school and he was expelled and returned to his home and his family in shame. And this to me really outlines the social impact of this disease. So Wendy McGegan said to me, Andrew, you do research in scabies. What can we do about this? And I told him about our research a long way away from Ethiopia in the Pacific in Fiji and the Solomon Islands. Where at that stage we were conducting two large trials, the AIM trial and the SHIFT trial. And our trials were of an approach to public health control of scabies called mass drug administration with a drug called ivermectin. So many of you might have heard of mass drug administration for deworming programs, but the idea is that you give everybody in the community the, the drug, the treatment, whether they have the disease or not, with the idea that you're really getting access to treatment. And it looks a little bit like this on the ground. This is Susie Lake, one of our researchers in um, Gizo province in the Solomon Islands. And she's delivering um, mass drug administration of ivermectin to a family. So all the families, all the people in that community receive treatment. And we had shown that this approach is very, very simple very, very safe and very, very effective. So this one data slide shows that in a community where the proportion of people with scabies is over 30%, we give one round of the treatment and 12 months later, the proportion of people with the disease is less than 2%. It's safe, easy and cheap. And it was great for us because it led to publications in the New England Journal of Medicine and The Lancet. But it's also great for the community and so I'd like to now share um, a video with you from, from Esther, who's the head of the local school in Giza where we work. So I'll pass it over to Esther. My name is Nesta Togia. I'm the head teacher for Giza Primary School. This afternoon, we just like to convey this message that the uh, SKB medicine, you follow giving law, uh, People's like this of primary have really effective and have a uh, treating now of scabies blood at the beginning here, about 600 children. Those who uh, used the medicine were treated. And now, less scabies in this of primary school, not like before, lots of scabies. Now, less scabies. We would like for thanking you to choose our school and treat our scabby children. And I'm sure you will also use the treatment to treat every other Solomon Islanders so that you miss our eliminating scabies. Love country blow me and everyone love me by me are happy for living healthy skin. Yep. Thank you. So thank you too much, Nesta.
Thanks, Nesta. So, mass drug administration with ivermectin is not a new idea. In fact, it's been used successfully for the control of two other parasitic infections, river blindness and lymphatic filariasis. And in fact, you might be surprised to know that over one billion treatments have been given for these two diseases. And you might even be more surprised to know that the Nobel Prize for Medicine was given to the discoverers of ivermectin, William Campbell and Satoshi Amura, in 2015 because of the amazing effects that this drug has had on the control of river blindness and lymphatic filariasis. So we've been asking, why don't we take our research in small islands and add scabies to this huge success story? We became aware last year that there was an opportunity for funding because the Macquarie Bank had turned 50 and the Macquarie Group Foundation had released a call for five $10 million grants to meet a social need. And we developed a proposal called the World Scabies Elimination Program, housed here at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. We put in our application among 1,000 others. We then made it to the semi-finals, and we were pretty excited, I will say. And we took a telephone call interview. And then we made it to the 12 finalists, and we were super excited. And we took um, representatives from the Macquarie Group Foundation to Fiji for a couple of days, and also here to Melbourne, and I can tell you they did their due diligence on us. And then I'm very pleased to say that we won, which is hugely exciting. It's, we're thrilled for this opportunity. <laughs> so it was a really diverse um, group of winners. The other winners included Ocean Cleanup, Social Finance for Disadvantaged Communities in America, Last Mile Health for primary healthcare in Liberia, and really pleasingly, another winner in Melbourne. So we know we've got some great researchers here in Melbourne at Monash University. So what are we going to do with this amazing opportunity from the Macquarie Group Foundation for World Scabies Elimination Program? We're going to do two things. First, we're going to support the governments of Fiji and the Solomon Islands to roll out national control programs for scabies, the first time that's ever been um, tried, and we're going to grow global partnerships with the World Health Organization and other key stakeholders to drive towards global scabies elimination. So it's a very exciting time, huge opportunities over the next five years, and um, we look forward to, to the opportunities in front of us. And of course, these things are never done by individuals, but rather by huge teams. And I'd like to thank the Institute, particularly Susie and Kathy, for supporting this application. In particular, Rebecca Harford and Matthew Parnaby for all of their work in putting together the proposal. So, back to Ethiopia. And I mentioned before that my colleague, Wendy McGegan, is a remarkable guy. He really is quite something. So, he took our idea from our research studies and got hold of a lot of ivermectin and worked with the government to roll out mass drug administration for scabies to 700,000 people in his area. You've got to meet this guy. <laughs> and he told me that um, Adesu had been received ivermectin treatment as part of this program. And so here's Adesu now with his scabies now um, healed. He's happy and well and he's back at school. So thank you very much. This is the sort of impact we want to make.